These flying piglins have been making me a very rich hermit. Check it out. I've got many, many stacks of gold blocks and Etho has very swiftly, I must say, produced not only the storage system, but also the piglin station over here. They are ready to trade. I am ready to give them gold and we are ready to get all of these goodies. And we are particularly interested in things like obsidian, crying obsidian, and blackstone. So it might not be the prettiest thing, and I'm hoping B-dubs is gonna come here and make this a little more pretty. <laughs> yeah, even Etho said, make look good. So let's submit all of this gold and see what we can get out of it. That is, that is a lot of gold. Okay, let's see, let's check it out. See, they all get dispensed a nice, gold bar they get they look at it for a minute and then they decide what they're gonna trade with us lots of hermits already have this farm so i'm pretty sure we're not gonna profit majorly from this but there is a reason to get this done you do get an awful lot of goodies so i would call this a pretty big success and this was truly truly teamwork to make the upside down mansion productive and producing lots and lots of goodies so i think we leave this producing and we maybe even take some of this stuff out with us because there's another thing i've been working on very secretly now in the shopping district there is this fella and he's eating leaves now i did say a long time ago that i wasn't going to get involved or collect a bunch of leaves in fact i never even signed up and there's no way for me to sign up now. However, I kind of lied. I have been collecting some leaves. So what I think I'm going to do is target Ren Diggity Dog. And I'm going to see if he wants to team up. Because I think I've collected few leaves. Uh, nine or ten. But these, stu these stupid roadblocks. So if I can get Ren to team up with me, I have a feeling we can claim the prize. The giant pile of gold, diamonds, and netherite. 50-50 split with Ren. And just to prove it, check this out. This is what it looks like to be single-handedly responsible for climate change on the Hermitcraft server. The devastation that occurred over many, many hours round the back of my base. Look at this. This is a disgrace. This is an absolute... It just keeps going. <laughs> hours and hours and hours. All so that we could take the win. But this only works if I can get Ren in on this plan. I'm sure he's going to be willing to take me up on it. But if he doesn't, I've got thousands of leaves that I do not need. This is only a small proportion of the devastation that I've caused. And any people that come across this are going to be like, what on earth happened here? This is what climate change looks like, everyone. It's serious and it's not funny. Ren is online right now, so all I need to do is find him and lure him to the giant pile of oak leaves. This is a serious amount. Every single one of these shulker boxes is full to the brim with leaves, which I hope will secure the leaf game or the hedge games. Can't remember what it's called. The only issue is I don't actually know where Ren is. He wasn't at his base. The only other place really would be the shopping district. So now I want to lead him without saying a word. We want to lead him. We want to, oh, no, not the whole pile. Don't fall in his lava. Come on, follow, follow the leaves, Ren. Follow the breadcrumbs. Okay, now we take off slowly. Is he following? Tell me he's following. Come on, Ren. Yes, he's going. Follow, follow the leaves. And then, land. Where is he? Have I lost him? Oh, whoa. The heck? 
And then we follow. We fo Come on. And then we lead him all the way to the pile. Check it out. We'll let him figure this out because he hasn't. He doesn't know that I've been. No one knows that I've been doing this. That is the face of a man who has just figured it out. <laughs> Bro. This is a little bit insane. What? What? What are you doing? <laughs> so I said I wasn't going to join the hedge games, but then I just did. I just spent hours and hours causing climate change on Hermitcraft. <laughs> oh, oh, like, uh, oh, Bernie? Like the Bernie competition? Exactly, but I, I never really signed up, so, like, I need an in, and I was wondering right. if you wanted to go halvesies, maybe we could steal the win. I have no idea how many are done. I don't really know how the game works. I just know you need leaves, and a lot of them. Yeah, you do. I mean, I've put in quite a lot, but this is way more than I put in. Like, way more. I mean, we could go halves. I mean, I was hoping to get the prize for myself. I've actually been collecting some leaves too. Well, I mean, so... I can I can go and ask. Uh, I can go and ask some other people. If oh, no, okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on. I think the competition's pretty close. Well, I mean, people have been collecting, so teaming up does sound like a plan, actually. If if you come this way, oh, I might be able to uh... <laughs> use my own trick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no. I've fallen into the base. <laughs> Using my own trick against me. <laughs> so, I've also been collecting leaves because I've had my eyeballs on that competition. Um, I actually won like two jackpots out of it when I deposited. So, I've also been very sneakily piling up. Um, <laughs> you got a pile so as well. <laughs> I've been sneakily piling up some leaves too. <laughs> Yo. So, Dude, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't want to brag, but my pile is a little bigger than yours. Your pile is bigger than mine. <laughs> kind of sad. But with our piles combined... This has got to be a win, right? I, I don't know how much other people have been gathering leaves, but mine took, like, two days flat of leaf gathering, and I'm not doing any more. So if you want to go halvesies, I'm going to go and submit my boxes. All right. All right. I'm in. Let's do it. Sweet, because I couldn't submit them without you. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ren, you're actually going to have to shut. I don't actually know what to do. I've just got right. the boxes. Okay, well, it's pretty easy. Uh, we'll use my box, okay? Yep. And all we got to do is put in one shulker box at a time, and Bernie's teeth will light up. When all the lamps are lit, the game's over. That's enough leaves collected. And apparently we get some jackpots and stuff out of this too, so... Dude, there's only two. Yeah. There's two lights. There's only two. Yeah, there's only two lights. Yeah. Okay, so literally just one at a time. One at Ding. a time. There we go. I heard a ding. It's going to take a while to do this. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what. You put the shulker boxes in. I'll just slowly feed your inventory with <laughs> new ones. Okay? We can teamwork this. That's the parcel. <laughs> oh, oh. Something's happening. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Yo! Prizes! What did we get? Awesome. We, have, we, haven't even, we haven't even scratched the surface. Yeah, that's one tooth the lit up. Jackpot the lie. Ugh. Okay, dude. Oh. Dude, we got shortchanged and we got jackpot GG, gravel and gold. That's oh, I, not get, bad. I get it, GG, gravel and gold. Very That's smart, not Scal. Oh, 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 more dings. Something's happening. Woo! Yes. More goodies. Nice. Get? Okay, okay, okay. We got jackpot the nether. Right. Pretty sweet. Ooh. And we got Jackpot Speed Miner. Oh my goodness gracious oh, me. My goodness. Now that is a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> wow, that's actually a really, really good one. Do you think we have enough to light up one more tooth? Um, we're done. We are done. Wow, we lit up oh. two lamps. Yeah. I don't know how I went and made a cup is. of tea during all of that. That took ages. <laughs> it took absolutely ages. Yeah, well, there we go. So, 40. I mean, is that it, G? No more. You got no more boxes that... left in your end of chest? Nowhere? No. Empty end of uh. chest. Okay. We are done. So, we've just got to hope that that's enough. I mean, that is a yeah. lot of leaves. That was an outrageous amount of leaves. If we don't win this, I I, I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I, no. I might head up the wall or something. Yeah, I mean, hours spent on this. Yeah. Also, um, what are we doing with these treasures? <laughs> We could, let's go Harvey's on halvesies, the jackpot. Halvesies. Let's go Harvey's. Yeah, there we go. And I'll have the cake. You, you Sweet. Have the cake. Sweet. All right. Done. Done deal. I don't know. When do we find out if we win? I have no idea, but if we don't win, G, I'm going to be sad. So I've come back to the upside down because I actually need the service of this building. It's the Gastbusters, and Scar hasn't done an interior. He's just left three signs. 
Place orders today. Gas Busters HQ open during construction. Mob proofing, mob damage repair. Now I need this bit, the mob proofing, because if you stand in the gold farm and let the, uh, the zombie piglins fall, unfortunately, there are some spawning points that are a problem that are making this less efficient. So I'm gonna give Scar a job. There's no information on this whatsoever. There's no book, there's no cost. I, I, is it pay what you want or is it pay nothing? I'm not sure. I could be paying my soul for this. Please spawn proof the upper part of the nether mansion to improve the gold farm rates. Test gold farm and see where the piggies are spawning. So hopefully this gives Scar a little- I have done quite a lot of mob spawning already, but there are just these little bits like up here that need doing. I did a lot of button placing out the back here. This has helped a bunch, but this isn't good enough. They still spawn out the back here and it still needs improving. Now. Speaking of errands, there are a few more that I need to do. One, I need to find myself a decked out box. Tango announces that there's some decked out boxes available and they're gone in seconds. He said there was eight and I've been looking around and I haven't found a single one. There we go, we got ourselves a box. One more down. That means at the end of the episode, we can continue the tradition of playing some more decked out. Now you may or may not know, but there's a bit of a resistance going on. There's mycelium spreading around. And it turns out a bunch of people are interested. So I've got in touch with them and I've organized for us all to have our very first meeting. Why is Cub on my barge? Oh, strange things going on. I, I, did, I did not sanction this. <laughs> I don't think so. What is this mess? What is this mess? Wait, no. The backup box is gone. Someone bought the backup box. Why am I upset? That's five stacks of diamonds. I'm upset because it takes so long to make. How many diamonds is that? We've almost got three stacks of diamond blocks. We've got to be up there as one of the richest hermits. It's now time for us to go and have our mycelium meeting. Down the chute we go. How did you get an arrow in your head? <laughs> I shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone to the official mycelium resistance. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you were interrupted by, by some note blocks. I think uh, this is right on top of decked out, right? It is right on top of can... secret location. Yeah, no, so no, this no, is no. very secret. <laughs> Literally one block down and you've got decked out is right there. Don't fall in! Don't so, fall in! I mean, that, that brings me basically to why I'm having this meeting. You guys have all signed up. I'm getting really interrupted by decked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of stealth going on right now. <laughs> so you guys have all signed up, including XB, who is... He's with us. Hello, mm -hmm. XB. Hello, XB. Hey, Hi, buddy. XB. The reason I kind of called this here is partly because of the whole decked out thing, but this mycelium base isn't fit for purpose. Well, one, you can hear decked out all the time. And two, yes. mm -hmm. it's not secret at all. Everyone knows the way in. This mm -mm. was like a recruitment thing. So since we're all like a, a gang now, and we all know why we're here and what we're doing, then I think what we should do is take another location and make it our base and never show the entrance on camera. That way, okay. smart. we can have yes. a proper... Yeah, I mean, it's getting kind of funky down here, too. I, I'd prefer if we moved out, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's never yeah. never going to be a permanent location, but it means yeah. that the mayor and his, particularly his enforcer, can't can't find us because they they mm -hmm. they think we're here. They know they know. Everyone's seen my videos. They know where the entrance Everybody is. Knows. We're a little I'm, close to town hall right now. We are yeah, literally I got caught leaving one day by Cub fans. So I'm pretty sure Cub watched away. me walk in here earlier. So. Like, <laughs> it's ultra compromised. <laughs> decked out going. Cubs actually just below us playing decked out. Oh, I can see them. They're, they're right by us. So we need, to, we need to find a new location for the mycelium resistance so that we can resist. What are we resisting exactly? Yeah, I, I was wondering that too, to be honest. Uh, you know, you guys... You know why we're here, we're... Oh, well, not really, of course, we're, yes. We're here, we're here. Just... Oh, yo, come, got killed by the beast. <laughs> Spoiler. Rip. So we we are here to send yeah. Scar a message. Oh, right? okay. 
Message. Yes. Uh, yes. So send Scar a message. Send yeah. Scar a message. That's mycelia resistance. Or, or, uh, what message is it exactly? What? Yeah. What is the, what's the, what is the message yeah. actually? It, Green. It, it's it's about the principle. It is about the principle. Oh. Okay. It is the the oh, principle. Right, right. The, the principle. Sending oh. Scar a message. A message. Resist. Are you writing that down? <laughs> Yes. Point. Oh, yeah. I got that. I'm taking any, notes. I, I any, don't have very good memory. I'm going to refer to that later. If anyone questions why we're doing this, if none, of, if any of this ever at any point makes no sense at all, you tell them it's a matter of principle and it's about sending Scar a message. Oh, right. Is okay. It, and we got to yeah. do this. Principle. Uh, pr- it's, about principle. Principle. Okay. Okay. Principle. And it's about sending Scar a message, and, and that's Wait. what it's about. So is that three exclamation marks or five? I'd say five. Think, Definitely five. five. Okay. Think, well, the more, the more they ask, the more exclamation marks. Yeah. Because at mm-hmm. this okay. point, it is about the principle. It is about the principle. It really is. If anyone's ever so, confused, it's about the principle. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's okay. let's all Perfect. go and find. Let's go find a place for the new base that is nowhere near decked out. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Good job, XB. You, you did a great job. Now that the mycelium resistance has had its first meeting, I think we should probably hide who the members are, just in case someone comes looking. In fact, we should probably destroy all trace of mycelium resistance. Nothing to see here. Just a whole lot of mushrooms. Could get, get it? Because it's a it's a whole. Okay, right. So so what we need to do before we vacate this area is I don't want to leave this looking unfinished. So I reckon we just block off this. A tunnel is no longer needed. We are vacating the premises. We are evacuating. So we just need to make this look a whole lot more done than it currently is. So anyone that does happen to stumble ap- across the old base won't suspect a thing. There we go, all blocked off with mycelium, so it just looks like we're still working on the project, but I just had another idea for a brilliant sign. I heard that Mumbo Jumbo is the leader of the resistance. It looks like multiple people have come in and done signs, in fact it was all me. We're gonna take all of this stuff with us, and we're gonna vamoose straight out of here. All that's missing really is some cobwebs, and this place looks seriously abandoned. (laughs) If they fall for that sign, I mean that's hilarious. Okay, Resistance HQ is now officially evacuated. We have our we have our team of fun guys, and now it's time to look for a new place for the Mycelium Resistance. But again, that will never be shown on camera because otherwise all the other guys will be able to see exactly where we are, particularly Scar and B-dubs and Cub. They'll know where the base is. So you could keep guessing where it is, but I'm gonna start excavating off camera the place where we are going to found the Mycelium Resistance base. Do you see that in the background? Do you see that little sign that says Resistance on it? I don't know if that was just... that. That's a coincidence. In broken tea bags is this? This has been one of the weirdest episodes today. I don't even know what to say. I'll be honest with you, I spent most of this episode collecting leaves for the hedge games. And it looks like no one submitted more, so we might be in real competition to win the thing. So now, before we end the episode, I want to go and play some Decked Out. One day I'll get this flight exactly right. So over here, I have been collecting the Nether Set, and I actually bought a Nether Set Uncommon for a few coins from Impulse. And I just need one more. I've got... A, a bunch of other things. So we're gonna do a couple of runs and we're gonna see what we can get. Hopefully it'll go a bit better this time. Key in, door open, compass. We know the drill by now. All right, deck box in, the run begins. That sounds like there's a Ravager just on the other side of this door. Oh, come on. Oh, that's going for me. Straight away, straight off, straight off the bat. I hate this thing so much. just there wait nothing in here no is this it (gasps) okay we got the loot box token but there is a ravager literally round this corner okay 
Okay, let's play this really safe. I want to do a bit more exploring. Do not swim down Ravager swimming pool below. We're not going to get past Ravagers very easily in these tunnels. Let's see if we can find ourselves some soul flames. Here lies you. I think that might be true. Nothing in the web of lies. Nothing in these barrels. I'm getting a bit stressed now. I've gone deep into the dungeon and I'm not finding any exposed blue flames or any loot whatsoever. Okay, nothing in here. I'm getting a lot of clank going around here. Okay, we got this. There's a key up there. Is that is that meant to be gotten? Or is that just to tease me? I have a feeling. I have a feeling there's ravages here. In fact, I'm so close to the entrance now. I've done a full cycle. And I didn't find anything. Where's the exit? There's a ravager there. There's a ravager there. Coins! Where's the exit? I think we leave. We leave. We leave. Come on, move out of the way! Woo! We did it! What do we get? Loot finder, loot finder, or beast sense. We'll go for loot finder. We got out of there with a win. Now we submit our loot box token. Maui? I'm recording. Okay, well we got dragon set common, wither set unique, and wither set uncommon, and two decked out coins. That is massive. That is absolutely massive because that's, well, that's a unique is so good. I don't think I have any wither stuff at the moment, but that's two of the same set and the unique is the best one. And then I actually have already the dragon set rare. So, unfortunately, it didn't give me the nether that I needed. But it's uh, it's helping us along the way. And then we've got to return the shulker there to Tango. So he can keep... So his supplies don't run dry. And I also noticed ancient debris donation box for lodestones. You know what? We are going... Because this game has been so good, we are going to do something very, very nice. While the game is resetting, we're going to travel back to the base. And we are going to donate every single bit of ancient debris from the netherite throne to Tango's game. It's not, not really a netherite throne anymore, is it? It's just a netherite log. <laughs> so 11 ancient debris being donated. I've renamed it from Grian, so he knows it's from me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh stupid me. I said earlier when am I going to get that flight right? There we go. 11 ancient debris. And now we wait for this to reset. There we go. Let's do another run. Another compass. I can hear that ravager on the other side of the wall. Let's go. Oh no! Oh no, I didn't go in! I'm sure Tango won't mind. There is a Ravager just there! Oh, he can't... I don't think he can get to me. From there. Phew! Okay, looks like... Looks like it's this direction, my loot. I love this game. It's both spooky... And fun for exploring. Oh, please tell me this loot isn't in the forest. I hate the forest. It's number one cause of death is the forest. Hopefully I can find a secret. Now, I tried to get down there last time. There's a barrel. Now, I think you need a couple of ender pearls to get down there. Although, you see this, like, dark outline around Corallis? I wonder if there's something there that allows you to bounce. But I don't want to risk it. I really don't. Dungeon keys are very valuable at the moment. There's something on that sign too. 
I can't quite make out what it says. No, it's not worth it. Okay, there is definitely a Ravager. In there. There always is a Ravager in there. <laughs> I've never, I didn't see that before. I feel like there's got to be a secret in this room. I really do. There's secrets everywhere, but I'm not very good at finding them. Oh! Secret! Secret! Okay, I need to throw something on there. I'll throw my compass for now. Yes! And we'll get some decked out coins. Sweet. I think there would be a soul flame there. I'm very unlucky on the soul flames. I never seem to find any. Right, and we got our compass back. Right, let's be sensible here. Because there is... Is there anything behind the waterfall? More secrets? No rewards. And no soul flame either. Is there something underwater as well? Bubble columns. There's got to be some ravages around here somewhere. Oh, there's one, there's one there, there's one there. Oh, oh no. No! No! <laughs> Why did I think that the cobweb was a good idea? Oh, I got a proper headbutt. Dang it. Well, not every run is successful. And I forgot to sleep in the bed. Ah, oh, you turn your back for one second and the ravages get you. But well, I nailed that flight that time. So there's a few things that I need to do next episode. And you may notice that today is episode 43. And my next episode is 44. Now, 44 is the famous episode because in my base, there's a bunch of chickens. And I think episode 44 is the episode that I do a lot of them. Kill this chicken with an anvil. Invent nicknames for all the hermits. In particular, there is one chicken that says, have a breakdown in episode 44. Great. So, we all look forward to that, and I'm afraid that is the end of today's episode. I'm going to spend the remainder of the off-camera time filling up these shulker boxes, because these shulker boxes are going to be my next round of barge mystery boxes. But it's not going to be the same as last time. They're not just buy a box. This time, it's find a box. So we're going to send people on treasure hunts that they pay for should be a lot of fun. But for now, I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye!